We got the new Q and A hot off the presses, but a day late because I've been a little ill. But anyways, guys, here we go. Is our dreams finally gonna get fulfilled? Is everything Genshin and Peck wants coming? Let's find out. So question one. Resin, condensed resin cap increased to four in its lifetime. Will we ever see at version 1.4, the maximum amount of condensed resin you can have at once will be increased. And I have heard off the cuff, it will be five, not four. Don't quote me on that. This is a small little change to it's, I, I consider this guy's more of a quality of life change than I consider it like a resin fix, right? Having a bigger bowl does not mean I get to eat more, right? If you give me my daily rations all at one time, but don't change the amount of my daily rations, I'm eating the same amount. I might eat at one time instead of three times a day, but I'm still eating the same amount of food. So it's cool, right? Some days you log in, you don't really feel like playing, you smashed a bunch of condensed resin, resin together, and then you're like, whatever, that's it. And then you log in a little bit later, like, I still don't feel like playing. Now you can smash a couple more condensed resin together, and that's going to be good to go there. Uh, I have condensed resin in my inventory. This is question two. But when I enter a domain, the game still tells me I have insufficient resin. Probably another quality of life update. You're not going to get this anymore. The game's going to be smart enough to realize that you're coming to do the domain with zero resin, but five condensed resin. It's not going to tell you that anymore. So that's cool. Nothing super. That's not fixing resin either. That's not making it easier to farm up than 0.001% good artifacts. You know, tired of getting them HP percent circlets. Who's with me? One like equals one less HP percent circlet in your inventory. All right. Even maybe some defense percent ones. You might get those, but one less HP percent one. Okay. We're not gods here on the channel. We can only reduce one bad roll at a time. All right. Now, what's the current maximum adventure rank? This one I found pretty interesting. Uh, in version 1.3, the max rank is 60. In 1.4, it will still be 60. You'll just get more. So if you somehow would level up from 60 to 61, I have no, I have no idea how much resin you're blowing through to level up from 60 to 61. Someone let me know down below how much uh, actual EXP that takes. You'll get more. I'm assuming this is gonna be like 50,000 more. All right. Usually I'm, um, what do I want to say? A positive guy, but I think this is gonna be like 50k more. It should be like one more up per one EXP you gained which would be like 19 million more or something but it better be one to one but something inside of me says it'd be like 50k more and something like really 50k more I, I i i was 60 for four months and all it was 50k more that's what i'm thinking i increased my world level to continue leveling my adventure rank and i regret it how can i decrease my world level so this is something they talked about for the 1.4 live stream during the sneak peek, they're going to allow you to temporarily, as we know of right now, they're going to allow you to temporarily decrease for like a day or so your adventure rank, if you so desire. Um, and you know, I, I've had a lot of questions and comments of like, dude, I'm, I, I'm AR 45 now, and I want to get those five star artifacts and it's harder for me to do it. Um, that's a good, that's a good question. what I did starting out, right is uh, you know i had those four star artifacts like everyone else i did multiplayer i know multiplayer is not for everyone but guys if you still having problems right your ar 40 45 you're trying to get your first five star artifacts there uh from the domains if you don't have friends or something um to do multiplayer with you don't want to do it with randoms if you do want to do it with other people you're, you're gonna need to do multiplayer multiplayer makes it just easier because you can take your best character and then johnny bravo could take his best character and lilo and stitch they can take their two best characters and you guys can get in there and do it together and community really brings games together so if you want like a member uh you want to become a part of our community here on the discord lots of cool people come chill and hang out people talking in there all the time doing multiplayer etc come check out the discords always linked in every video down below it's gonna help you guys out a ton there right get in there and just have uh, a couple people just do multiplayer i know sometimes when i don't even need anything i have no resin left but i want to play genshin i'll go into multiplayer co-op just randomly and just help people out um and sometimes we do those on stream as well, right? Someone will be like, I'm just, I'm brand new to the game and I don't have anyone to do uh, anything with. And I'm trying to get these 45 artifacts to get these five stars. I'm like, you know what, brother? Come on in. Let's go bring two characters. I'll bring two characters and we'll just go through all of your resin there. So keep that in mind. Also, another thing that I think a lot of people are getting hung up on here as well is they're using your 
you're using you guys are using your uh, your resin refreshes too soon really hold off until your ar40 ar45 i know it's hard to do right because there's like a lot of stuff you guys want to do level your characters get your mats all this other stuff take it easy keep your free resin refreshes just save them don't use them really until you are 40 45 your guys are going to have hundreds of those saved up by then and it's going to be five star artifact multiplayer town that is what i did and that really jump starts your account uh by a ton it's, it's a high weight but a huge payoff because you're not you know running through the game asap right level in every character that you're not going to use leveling and getting three star artifacts that you're not going to use from domains getting four star artifacts that you can't use from don domains and at the end of the game really you're going to be allowing yourself to just get this big payoff later do do that and that is the most sound advice i could give any player uh starting genshin impact don't use your fragile resins until you're 40 45 for artifacts let's help you guys a ton um next one question five next one yes next one Question five, can you improve the weapon upgrade system? It took me 20 minutes to get my weapon upgraded to 40. Um, that shouldn't take you that long anymore because you can hold stuff, but uh, to give tra uh, travelers more convenient gaming experience, we will continue to optimize the upgrade system in future version updates, such as increasing the number of slots for weapon upgrade materials. That's interesting. Um, I think I know what this player was doing and the thing that they do need to change the most is if you're trying to use low tier weapons, right? The one stars and two stars that you pick up off the battlefield, maybe some of the three stars that you get from chests and stuff. Uh, it takes forever because you get five and it's like, mm -hmm. five more, mm -hmm. five more, five more. And you're, it's like, uh, no. So maybe if they put like, um, like a weapon grinder item in the game that you got from like a side story, that could just grind a bunch of items into um the weapon upgrade materials right uh because the game should be able to know what you know a one star's worth x amount of uh, exp which is x amount of ore and all of these things are worth x amount of hp and then they can shoot out uh x amount of ore to really help you out there because they do have the system where you can just hold down and just chunk a bunch of ore in there so maybe like a weapon grinder uh sort of item for us to use there to just kind of take excess items and grind them up into uh, weapon materials. That'd be a good idea uh, to help you out there. Instead of having to do all this other thing, like uh, extra weapon slots, that's not gonna help out. That's like a Band-Aid solution. Really allow us to just grind our weapons up um, for uh, weapon EXP materials. I can't use the crafting Brents in co-op mode. It's very inconvenient. A lot of things in co-op mode are very inconvenient. You can't do anything outside of maybe cook at campfires. Uh, when it comes to any NPC or anything, they turn into death mutes. They're like the laughing man. Uh, you know, they, they just pretend like they're one of them deaf mutes. So, uh, if you don't know that reference, I'm sorry. Um, but they're tweaking features for co-op here. They're trying to make co-op more interactive and more convenient and, and less hindersome. And I think co-op is, um, multiplayer in general, whether it's PVE or PVP is always like a hot button issue. And also like a live or die thing for a lot of, um, a lot of mobile games when it comes to the community, um, nowadays. So. Yeah, uh, co-op in general, like, I don't know, maybe tackle that a little bit more. Genshin's got a lot of places to grow, and that's one of the places it could grow even more. So I like to see that they're doing some stuff with co-op there. want to save all my birthday mail. All right, I know you want to talk to Kaching. and have that little birthday Kaching mail. So they're going to allow you to do that. Uh, <laughs> let's get a re-challenge button in Spiral Abyss. Um, yeah, they're still tweaking Spiral Abyss, you know. It's, it's cool that they're tweaking it around and stuff but uh, i'd like to see more changes to spiral abyss this is a quality of life change um i'd like to see more floors of spiral abyss i'd like to see better rewards for spiral abyss considering that it resets like was it, like once every like 16 or 17 18 days something like that and it's only three of the floors and i like that they're changing around but spiral abyss guys at the end of the day it's it's still the hardest content to do in the game i would like to see more content if you guys want to see uh, more content or a video about more content leave comments down below as well with your ideas and if there's enough comments maybe we'll do a video on uh, content in genshin impact because there does need to be more content i'm not saying that it's dry they've been doing cool stuff for like the tower event but when it comes to high content why am i leveling my characters why am i leveling these weapons why am i pulling for these characters the question right now and the answer is spiral abyss and spiral abyss you can beat that with some lower level characters you get like two main dps and like three almost naked supports and if you've got the right ones leveled you got your team set up right and you can dodge a little bit 
they're pretty much good to go. They just got to beat that timer. So I want to locate my co-op teammates faster. Be able to quickly locate your team. is already on a to-do list. It keeps striving to improve travelers co-op experience. You can do it dev team. I don't really have a problem with this one. Uh, but this might be um, a me thing because when I play co-op primarily, unless I'm doing domains with randoms, in which case, guess what? We're all out in front of the domain because that's where I teleport in on. If I'm doing something with a teammate in co-op, that's my friend. Um, we're like in, in voice comms or something, right? Hanging out on Discord or something. I know I'm an outlier there, so I don't have a big problem with this one. Uh, you teleport right to where your, your teammate is. A lot of the times, if we do something every day, like we go do, I call it the, uh, oh, I call the island with all the golems there. Um, we have, we have like a teleport point there. So I just like join in like, Hey, you want to go to this island? Yeah, dude. Teleport right on out there. So, um, yeah, sure. I'm sure they'll add like a button on your mini map or your map that will just highlight your teammates. So that's probably what's going to be there after shall uses the elemental burst here. Final question. Does this elemental skill still generate elemental particles? No, it does not. But they uh, confirm here after he activates his burst, the bane of evil, his elemental skill does not generate particles as long as he's got his Yaksha mask on. Similar to Razor's Claw and Thunder, Razor's skill, his elemental skill, uh, does not also generate particles while his burst is active. And I love, a lot of players get tripped up on that. I don't know why they made it that way, maybe for balancing purposes, whatever. It makes the characters feel a little bit uh, cumbersome in some standpoints there. But I know I know Razor has, uh, Razor is different though, because he's got a system, right, where he can hold his E and, uh, give himself particles based on how many times you've used his e and uh shao doesn't really have anything like that so i understand why razors are like that but shao is a little bit weird because he doesn't have that built-in system where he can just generate particles with his elemental skill during his elemental burst there so let me know what q a hot off the press questions uh you like to see sadly no like uh resin changes i want to see resin refresh rate i want to see uh lower cost to, to domains or something um lower cost to uh making condensed resin in in conjunction with lower cost of domains just so you guys can get out there because it is right the thing you're spending resin on at the end of the day like once you've leveled your characters up um the exp things the the do, uh, not the domains but the the little um i always forget what they're called the little blue balls <laughs> they blue ball you with the amount of exp they give you the event going on right now is very nice get the times two that's what it should be normally at the minimum um they need to increase that it just seems like a lot of the times you don't really get your return on those um those blossoms so i'd like to see more refresh rates so you guys can play the game more there just needs to be more stuff to do because that's the thing that we saw a month two months in people who really pushed the game really played the game really hard no lifed it is uh they're like well what's the do oh it's spiral abyss and then get artifacts is the game um outside of the time limit events but none of those stuff is really all that hard to do so let me know how you guys been doing genshin impact what you guys been feeling if you guys haven't seen the recent hutao video check that one out uh if you guys have the the ability to like comment subscribe traditional youtube algorithm stuff that actually helps out a ton, especially likes and comments on there. Talk about post, post whatever your favorite word of the day is. Can it be resin? Can we get a million resins down below? Until then, guys, though, I'll see you in the next one. Have fun out there and stay safe.